This is a really quick overview of how to do drawings inside what's called Google Docs. And I think it's probably best practice for economics, especially if you want to do kind of nice, yeah, kind of nice diagrams um, quickly and easily. So here's a quick example. So this is obviously in a Google Doc format, and this is a student's practice piece of coursework. And so what she's done here is just, um, you know, she's used a function at the top called insert, She's come down and clicked on drawing, and then she's being able to draw this. And then I can even, as a teacher, I can double click on this just to kind of show you what she's done. Um, but essentially, kind of just all lines and different colors and shading that's all been grouped together really easily. Uh, feedback from the kids is this is re probably the fastest way to do these drawings in class. So here's a quick example. So, simple demand. Um, Graph showing monopoly, uh, kind of attempting to show different short run, long run changes. So I've already drawn some lines, and that's really easy. So up the top, clicking on up here, different types of lines, so bendy lines, straight lines, and arrows. Kind of control something like this, up like that. Trick is, is if you're dragging something, you can also hold the shift key, and it keeps it straight. So shift and drag keeps the line straight. If I don't like them, delete them. A little trick is just toggling between these two things, selecting it, or actually drawing it makes it a lot easier. So I can just select and delete these kind of things. For any line that I've made, change the color, can change the thickness, make it dotted, change where the arrows go, kind of ideas. Uh, but just showing, so getting fancy, so, so trying to draw curves, so I've got to click once to start the curve, this, and then I sort of click again at the, what I want to be its apex. So I'm trying to draw an average cost curve. So I'll try to click at the bottom, and then click again and then double click and it finishes it. Um, click and it finishes like that. I click on the arrow at the top to select things and I'm kind of push it up around a bit so I might want to move it up a little bit. If I'm not happy with it, I can double click again, and then I can pull these things up. See the little purple dots? So toggle things up and down, make a slightly more sharper curve. I can drag it to the side a bit. And I'm actually going to make it a different color. Done. Other trick as well is once you've made a label and you're happy with the fonts, Command C, Command V, just copy it, put it up here. St saves having to stuff around with labels. So the next trick, hopefully I can do this correctly, uh, marginal cost curve, let's go down, click at the apex, so I've sort of, I'm going to go up like this, double click, finished. So the shape looks okay, but it's not really at the minimum, so you know mathematically it should, click on select, should cross there, I think that looks good. Okay, I might make that red as well, just a contrast. Give it a title. Major cost. Um, and so then I can just get carried away with dotted lines. So I can just go here, line. So I want to showcase a few points. I want to showcase. that, make this go, choose like a dotted colored line, another one to go across, so I'm pressing shift whilst I drag and it keeps it 45 degrees, this one was a mistake, the first one, shift and drag, the go makes it straight, so then I can also show, so I need to copy this one, command C, command V, Copy it there, so just showing, I can even use my arrow key to, arrow keys to jump around a bit. Okay, so done that part, showing the, what's called the break even point. Then I can get fancy, I can put a square here to show the level of profitability. Does that look correct? Slightly. Uh, so what you really want to do here is start pushing things back and forth, so something should be in the background. 
order send to the back. Does that make sense? And actually for this one I don't want to have a fill colour is that. I can make it like a yellow. Change this. I don't want to have a line around it. Transparent line. Okay. So that kind of showcases that. And then I can add other labels in the same kind of way. And the beauty is that if I, you know, like this student here, if I'm writing my piece of coursework, it's really easy for me to go double double click, go back and change my drawing. Previously, if you do them in Word and copy paste, it's a bit cumbersome because you have to make sure that you've taken the screenshot correctly. So if we're doing it within the Google Docs, 100 times easier. Um, and this now moves around. So I can now, now, I can move this around the page and I can make it wrap. I can even make it go bigger. Um, keep it like that. Okay, I hope that was useful. Introduction to how to do drawings in Google Docs.